On the way home, I witnessed the worst wreck, and I got very lucky that it didn't hit me. I was coming down and stopped at a four-lane intersection, and there was this Altima that was flying. He flew past me like I wasn't going fast enough. He flew past me at 60. There was a red light coming up, and I was my heart kind of dropped in my stomach. I was thinking, I hope this guy stops, and I hope if he doesn't stop that there's not another car coming the other way. So he keeps on going straight, and there's a car that's lights green coming from, I believe, the left. He hit the car. He, it was actually an SUV. He was driving an Altima, and the woman he hit was driving an SUV. I couldn't actually see what kind of SUV it was because it was so crushed. But anyways, he hit the SUV, and it went airborne about 20 or 30 feet, barrel rolled into the woods. And I was the only one on the scene, first on the scene, so I went over to the car to see what was going on. There's no way that I could have actually gotten the woman out, so a couple, four people, a couple more people came, and we called the police, and the uh, guy that hit the SUV was just kind of got out and didn't even realize what happened. I don't know if he was just in shock. Hopefully he wasn't drinking or on anything, but uh, I just hope those people are okay. Uh, this this freaked me out. I've never witnessed a wreck and not anything that bad. I'm probably going to have dreams about this and just be kind of fucking with my head. That could have been me. If he would have hit the car, the car would have been coming the other way. It would have flew on top of me and crushed me, but he, the car was coming the other way. So I'm just thankful to be alive and scared me. That was, that was pretty rough. I had a weird feeling all day today like something bad was going to happen, and I, I guess that was what it was. But, um, yeah, I just thought I should get that out. It's really, really driving me crazy. I hope those people make it out alive. It didn't seem too well when I was leaving. The cops and the, uh, everybody, they had the jaws of life, and they really couldn't even get them out because the car was so crumbled. If there were any people in the back, they probably didn't make it. The back of the car was completely crushed. Um, it was upside down. The people were in the front, they, could, they couldn't they could move. It was so crushed that they were just kind of stuck. Probably every burn in their body was broken. They're going to have to cut that car apart to get them out. So that I'm just glad to be alive and hope those people are okay. Till next time, guys.